So this is a conversation our state has had before, but not very recently. Reintroducing jaguars to New Mexico out in our wilderness. They are endangered on both sides of our border. But scientists say this new idea is not that far-fetched. And Megan Abunda spoke with one of them behind a recent report. Our Albuquerque Biopark Zoo takes great care of lots of wildlife, but for this jaguar pen beside me, some scientists believe there's an even better spot for these wild cats to free roam, and that's in New Mexico's backyard. The vast and wild and well-loved Gila National Forest. The forest is also Michael Robinson's backyard. Well, I was wandering around yesterday evening. He's a senior conservation advocate with the Center for Biological Diversity and believes it's the perfect spot for jaguars. I saw some bear scat and some birds and um, had a wonderful, peaceful time. Uh, but sadly, no chance of encountering a jaguar as far as I know at present. Maybe that will change in years to come. As late as the 1960s, jaguars have inhabited areas of the central mountain range in Arizona and New Mexico, but were later wiped out. Robinson says it's about time for a reintroduction. Recently, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services said the area could support only six jaguars. Jaguars need wild places where they can be safe from potential human persecution, and they need prey. So he's been working on studies for decades, the latest published this spring. Yes, it really does make sense. In order to move forward, he says there needs to be a larger conversation, including conflict resolution with the livestock industry. But Robinson hopes U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services will revisit its Jaguar recovery plan. It really has been political, sadly. Uh, but, but, you know, part of dealing with politics is listening to people who, who feel differently. Uh, and considering respectfully their views. So there's a lot of improvements that can be made in the uh, somewhat uh, sorry policy that our country has had towards these persecuted, but really beautiful and very vital animals for, for so long. And, and ultimately, you know, we're, we're hoping that we can, we can go in a new direction because it really is possible to live with, with jaguars. He says jaguar precautions look similar to mountain lions and black bears. Nobody's saying that living with wildlife is easy. But I think on a deep level, everybody in the land of enchantment understands that it's really worthwhile and how blessed we are to have these wild animals near us. Megan Abundus, KOB4.